Let's talk about another team that's in the middle of something. Uh, the Commanders are in the middle of a transition into new ownership. Obviously, we've learned and followed along with the last ownership of the Washington football team and Washington Commanders. And I think widely known as worst owner in history of professional sports. One of. He's yeah, up there. Definitely up there. Definitely. I mean, there's probably some professional league somewhere that we haven't heard about where the owner was just like – disgusting human being not that this wasn't but <laughs> yeah there's, pro there's probably yeah, some the NBA, sort of yeah, yeah there's yeah, some a couple guys sterling in the NBA. and then the i was actually guy. at the espies uh in like player area yeah of espies sitting down i was only caucasian okay, okay in the area that yeah. i was sitting me and the guy i was with and drake went up there and sang a Sterling never loved us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I remember and then that. they go to commercial break. All lights go on in theater. Drake walks off, and I'm just sitting there. Uh oh. He didn't love me either. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. This guy was a bad guy. You know what I mean? So definitely, I guess he's in the conversation. Yeah. But when it comes to NFL wise, as of late, Snyder was yeah. mm -hmm. this guy. Everything you hear about the culture, the environment, the decision making, everything just terrible. Now Josh Harris, new ownership. We got Magic Johnson, who's won in every single league that he's invested as an owner in. They just announced a forty million renovation to FedEx Field, including fixing the poop pipes. That's right. Thank you God. remember because the poop pipes were just bursting last yep. year. Yeah. People would be walking through the through the stadium. They're like, well, our team stinks. Uh, our owner's the worst in sports, but I'm still showing up because I'm loyal to the team. And all of a sudden, boom, dump yeah. right on the head. Actual human dump That's right, right on yep. forehead while they're walking through the stadium. Now $40 million in renovations in infrastructure. It's true. <laughs> it Look it up. Real yeah. Yeah. Look it up. I yeah. know, I know. But do we know someone got hit directly yeah. on the phone? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was a dump that yeah. hit uh -huh. right in the forehead. <laughs> Slid down their nose. And <laughs> All right, out. I stand yeah. correct. I stand correct. So Soaking nachos, a couple people Close your E. Mouth. coli from it. Yeah, there's a lot that yep. was going on. They fixed it, though. Okay. So they fixed Burning it. Burning Man. Yeah. Okay, got it. Oh, oh, Burning Man. Man. Oh, thank God some of them got out of there early. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You know what tough. I mean? What a time. Never would have expected anything to potentially go wrong out there. No. No, never. I'm you know? It's weird. Hope everybody's okay. But there was a portion of humanity that had to get washed away in a storm. Is that yeah. what you're saying? Okay. Anyways, Josh Harris is already making renovations at the stadium, $40 million. And also, he said, like, yeah, we got to win games or Ron Rivera's gone, pretty much. And that is just understood, I think, by everybody in the NFL, including Ron Rivera, new ownership, maybe a new name, maybe a lot of things. Yeah. So to be a carryover from the previous regime, you're going to have to really do well. Ron Rivera, the last couple of years, has not done great on the field, but has he had an opportunity with Dan Snyder being the owner? I don't think any of us can really say. A lot on the line. Ron knows that, though, right? Ron knows that. Yeah, of course Ron knows that. He knows he has to win. Every coach knows they have to win. But I guess the question for Ron would be, okay, how many wins is that? Like, what does that mean? Do I got to win a playoff game? Do I need to get to the playoffs? What is it to where I feel somewhat safe here? What were you saying? Yeah, I just said, does he? Because, you know, Ron, I feel like Ron, Ron Rivera buries himself more than anything. <laughs> yes. Oh, you're saying you know, he's pretty not, oblivious? Not, not knowing the, the, the playoff situation, you know, not knowing Sam Howell was a good quarterback. Yeah. Like, Sam kind Howell. of questionable awareness there. The, uh, the And you brought Eric Bieniemy over, too, who, you know, has been a, a hot name and the hot head coach ranks for some years now. People saying, hey, he needs a chance, he needs a chance. Now he's the assistant head coach, I believe, in the OC. Coaching the guys tough. Um, it'll be interesting to see how that all plays out. Well, it's coaching guys tough, and the offense looks like it's going to be successful because Sam Howe's epic. good. To your point, as soon as we saw Sam Howe, we were all like, hey, Sam Howe's really good. <laughs> <Spin> <laughs> it. This guy's really, really good. With everything you guys had happen last year with Heineke and then Wentz coming in when Heineke was winning and the whole thing. And the only reason why we saw Sam Howe last year, if you do recall, is because Taylor Heineke was supposed to start the game. And old Zin, Zin, Zin Heineke mm -hmm. says, I shouldn't play this game. No. Yeah. You should at least see what this guy is. And they said, oh, what do you, Who? What do you mean? What do you mean? Who? Who? What guy? Well, the Sam Howe guy's pretty good. You should play him yeah, at what position practice? he was practicing against our defense this though. guy's been beating our entire you should at least see right we have one game left i'm not gonna be here my contract's up i know you should at least see this guy and we immediately judged taylor heineke we're like this guy's not a dog yeah that's kind of weird what? this guy's supposed to be a starting quarterback in the nfl and he's like no somebody else should start it's like oh, okay heineke lost it all right yeah everything we liked about heineke let's go ahead and remember this decision then we talked to heineke and, and then we start hearing ron rivera said damn i didn't even know this guy was good at football it's like heineke was literally like doing a I feel like in his eyes, the commander's a favor, Sam Howell a favor. Mm -hmm, yeah. And he was like, listen, it's not being run right over here. This guy deserves yeah, to have yeah. at least a snap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I appreciate Heineke being the adult in the room. But to Darius's point, 
Ron Rivera has seemingly been out to lunch for a, a little bit here. If they win with this whole thing going on, Ron Rivera probably gets an extension around mm-hmm. for another 15, 20 years, which is crazy to think. Well, and that's what's interesting going into this season is kind of the, a lot of the conversation is like, hey, Ron Rivera is oblivious and he's a shitty head coach, but also like around the media, it's a pretty trendy pick right now. Like, hey, why can't the Commanders go make the playoffs? Like, a lot of people actually like them to, I don't know about win the division because the NFC East is tough, but, yeah. you know, the, the NFC as a whole is still up up for grabs, and I think a lot of people actually think the Commanders might make the playoffs. Lucky, luckily for them, they do have the Cardinals in week one, but their win total is six and a half. So what number wins gets Ron, like, to keep his job? Oh, I think it has to be a – he's going to have to go 10. Yeah. 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 Which yeah. is yeah. no yeah. chance. There's no chance. Sam that Howell can spin it. He can't spin it. They're playing the uh, AFC East, I believe. Really good D line. So they're going to play four pretty good teams out of there, depending on what the Patriots turn into and to his health. And then the NFC East is what? A top three division? They had three teams go from their division to the playoffs last year.